Okay, so we are live now. Are you doing yoga? Yeah. So... Yeah, what's your plan? What have you done? Oh, I picked up a bunch of shit that I didn't finish picking up last time because that's not particularly interesting. It's just a bunch of back and forth to my house. Yeah. So I got as much of that up as I could. There's only, like, one area, I think, that doesn't have shit picked up. And, um, it's the campsite, which I may get to tonight. I'm not sure. Probably gonna do a good bit of time traveling this... this session. Uh... I moved the museum and our houses. See, my house used to be where the, the museum is, but mm -hmm. now uh, I've moved both of our houses over there together. And then I'm going, going to move the shops back there behind resident services tonight. And maybe manage to get most of the residents in their places on these cliffs. I also got this uh, ramp built. I'm going to build another one here. But I definitely needed this one just for easier access to this area. But I tried not to do too much landscaping. I just wanted to get the boring shit out of the way. Oh, also, I switched my path code, because I had that black path, but I wanted to switch to the path, yeah. which is the one everybody uses, but I went and found a bunch of additions to it. So, like, the original doesn't have these single tile ones, and it doesn't have these soft corners. So I have, like, three or four different, like, creator codes like contributing when... to this path. When you say the path, you mean like the, the standard game path? Like no, this is... the path is a path made by a Twitter user whose name is like Denim Mori 2 or something. Oh, okay. But like it's one that everybody uses. There are a lot of variations on it. Like it's, it's just, it's this natural dirt path, which looks a lot cooler to me because it has this like shadow around the edges, so it looks much more... Shadow At, the Hedgehog? Yeah, it has Shadow the Hedgehog. It just looks more like a part of the world. That black one is super cool, but it doesn't have the depth that this one does, so it kind of looks like it's just sitting on top of the grass. Yeah. But like I said, this creator put a shadow around the edge of theirs, so it looks like it is a dirt path worn into the grass. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Why would you do that? Whatever. And I think I'm gonna keep this bridge, cause like, it's so close to the mouth, and you know, I can't change anything from here forward. So, a lot of this river is going to stay the same. It's just not going to go this far back. It's going to curl up completely into that area over there. So, I'll just keep that. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep the little rock circle I built over there. Because it was a fucking nightmare getting it together in the first place. So there's yeah. no need to aggravate yeah, myself I any further. <laughs> certainly wouldn't move that. So, were those stones that you, you had up there new as well? What stones? Like, there were some stone patterns up around the, uh, the paths we were looking at a few minutes ago when you were explaining where the path was coming from. This? No, I know what that is. Like, uh, go back to the first part, the first area you were in when we were talking about who made the path. Oh, uh, these 
bigger ones are from the same creator who made the black version of the path I was okay. using to begin with. I just still like them. I may replace them later on, but I like them. Like I this think is... I think they suit the the dirt path. Yeah, like they don't look too out of place. Uh, but like this is just like leftover. I just haven't cleaned anything up yet because I'd rather get the layout right and then put the path down because I don't want to put bother putting a path down that I change the island layout and I have to change that all over again, you know? Right, right. And I think I'm going to put a ramp here, so let me mark it before I forget. Will that put this behind me? No, of course not. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Close to a bridge, can you build a cliff? I wonder. You had that new villager the first time we did this, right? Yeah, I okay. haven't changed anybody out since then. This is just Toby. Okay, I guess I can't build a cliff there. That's weird. I can build one here, but I couldn't build one here. So... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to move Meringue before I get too far into this. probably also get up there and fix that because that's not part of the plan why is this here I don't know why this is here so I think actually what I'm gonna do is fill in this area and then just sort of shape it back there You can kind of tell which parts weren't made by the original creator because some people didn't do their shadows quite so stark. But I don't think it's um, the worst. <laughs> Go 
Good fucking god. Also have chopped down like all of our fruit trees. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I can't actually put any dirt there because it might bury the tree. <laughs> like I did that glitch where you don't have to have the full three by three space around a tree. But the problem is you can't put any dirt up around it either. After a certain point, like, it won't let me fill in that one block. Right. So I actually shouldn't have done this, because now I won't be able to get back to it. I need to go up there and chop it down. Oh, I wonder if it'll do that thing. Because, like, if you chop these down and there's not a space for the fruit to, flaw to fall, it will bounce. Like, forever? Not forever. Just, like, to another area. So let's see. Well, I thought it would bounce. I thought I'd seen it bounce. Actually, while I'm up here, I might as well fill in this water. And tear down these cliffs. There's a museum. Which I'm not done sprucing up that island, but I think it looks really cute for Can right you bring here. up the map just to look at the island? I know you shaped it. That's not how you do it. Like, it's the same as it was before. Like, it's just a crescent moon. I'm also standing right the fuck on it. When I get this whole area built up the way I want it, I want to have a little viewing area with those, like... Like... Those big binoculars they oh, have yeah. at, like, parks and shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you get that in this game, and I had them up there at the... Or I may still have them up there at the camp, camp site. Because I think, again, the ones you get in our game are uh, just the blank white ones. to disassemble your little bookstore, but like I said, we're gonna build it up here somewhere. Because I'm gonna put the other stores here, so then I'll put the ones, like, I'm gonna put a little like, plant nursery shop. Mm -hmm. I'll have to see if somebody can get us another bookshelf, since we still don't have the fucking I've bookshelf been, recipe. I try, so, like, every time I, I like, did some time traveling to get all the buildings moved, all the way to, like, Thursday of this week. And, like, I went to both the things, like you get two recipes daily at least, and I tried to do both of those every time I've time traveled, but still, nobody wanted to give me anything new. No, god fucking damn it.
I forgot how many butterflies there are in spring when you play this game. Like, they're just fucking everywhere. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is there an issue? I don't know why your character has to do these little hops all the time.
What's the problem? What? Just let me fix it. It's just something wrong with audio. I'm trying to fix it. Imagine how fucking unstoppable, you, unstoppable you'd be if you had the uh, editing and placing capability that you have inside your house for the whole island. Yeah, I really don't understand why they didn't implement something like that. Because it's, like, when you're outside, it's really infuriating trying to put, like, especially if you're trying to place items on tables and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know there's a whole lot more to account for outside. You know, you got the villagers wandering around. Also just don't understand why sometimes it if you're not in the exact right space on the grid it pushes you back and makes you build a, a cliff or it pulls you forward and makes you destroy one yeah have a lot of third tier cliffs planned out, but I have a lot of space, so I should probably find a way to use some. No. What happened? I... 
broke a cliff instead of building one. Like, I just feel like it should be a button to build and a button to destroy. still don't have all the bamboo recipes. Like, I got all the cherry blossom recipes over the weekend. But, like, there are bamboo ones I'm pretty sure I don't have. I haven't looked, but I... Did the bamboo recipes drop at a certain time? Yeah, they drop in spring. Okay. But it, they just have, I think, all of spring, or maybe all of April, rather than, you know, just one week or whatever. Yeah. I don't know all of them off the top of my head. But yeah, that can't be all of them. This is equipment, this isn't seasonal. Yeah, there's other ones, I just can't think of what they are. Like, there's... Do I not have the dark rug, or does the dark rug not count? It's not showing me all the bamboo recipes I have in the seasonal section. Like, it's showing some, but not all? Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah, I don't- I don't understand what makes some of these seasonal. I guess maybe some require the young spring bamboo, while the others don't. I'll have to look to see how many of those I'm missing. I don't know for sure. I also just wish you could do this faster than one by one. Yeah. <laughs> like, I get the idea behind it. Like, I mean, I understand it's probably just a complete limitation. Like, there's probably no way to do more than this. I just feel like it's a deliberate choice. Like, it's, you know, meant to be, um... more immersive, I guess. Like you feel you're supposed to feel like you're you're doing everything by hand. Mm -hmm. Cuz you are. <laughs> so to speak.
entombing meringue tonight. Hell yeah. Let's see, let's see. So, how much of the space back here is filled in? It should be pretty much all of it. Okay. No, god fucking damn it, that's what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes you're in a space and it just randomly chooses whether it pushes you forward or pulls you back. Oh, you're using Butchered at Birth to, uh, It, it looks like today. all of the album covers look completely different from a path so I won't assume it's oh, you know yeah. just a path left over how big is the tailors I forgot five by four okay Four by five or five by four. 
five by four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I want nooks a couple of spaces away. Nooks is seven by four, I think. Did you get a cutting of the azalea bush out here? It's a camellia bush. Camellia bush, bush I'm sorry. I but did. Did you? Are you going to try to read it? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's out on the porch. Oh, okay. I watered it, which I'm not sure if I was supposed to do. You may have been supposed to soak the soil before you put anything in it. Mm. I don't know. But it's just out front. And, like trying to dry out a little before I bring it in because like I, I watered it last night and then when I tried to bring it in tonight it was still dripping so I left it outside. I thought when you were trying to root them you left them like in water like in not in dirt but in water. You do for certain plants like all okay. these vines and stuff that I have you propagate in water but those you get you dip in rooting hormone and then you put them in soil to try to get them to grow roots. Right. Because, like, you can actually grow most of these guys that I have that are vines in uh, soil, too, which I may try at some point. It's just I don't have a lot of space. And when you propagate them in water, you can kind of just keep them in the yeah. cup for the water. Which all of my propagations I happen to have are totally ready to be potted. I just have to buy a pot. Yeah, does the uh, the fern on your desk stink? No, I can't smell it. Because it's got worm castings. Yeah, I noticed it had been moved, so I assumed you must have forgot fertilized it. So we'll see how everybody likes that. I can't tell that they're having any immediate like burning up or anything. Where did you learn about that? About what? Worm castings. I watch a YouTube lady who runs nurseries and stuff. And she says that's what she uses for most of her stuff. Worms are like, are not harmful to plants, right? Cause I know like, you know, a lot of bugs and like caterpillars and slugs and shit will eat up your plants, but worms don't do that. I don't know that they are very functional above dirt, so I don't know if they can damage roots. Worms are so fucking weird. <laughs> what a weird creature. You know what would be really cool? If Celeste was in my town. Is it a clear night? Pretty clear in my opinion. She just never fucking shows up in my town. It's so infuriating.
What happened? I just keep doing the opposite of what I'm trying to do. murders two men and feeds them to her pigs, but did she do it to others? Did she? I don't know. Also doing this one by one makes me think about Minecraft, of course, but then it also makes me remember that um, I was a fucking god in Tech It when we played Tech It because mm -hmm. you could get that, uh, what was it, dark matter tools and you could like dig out giant chunks of land yeah. at once. Or you'd get that catalyst to begin with, right? Uh, and then you eventually made the tools because it was like, yeah, red matter and like it was a tree, you know, like you upgraded or whatever. So yeah, this is a story uh, from Weimar, Oregon, uh, about a lady who's been running a f pig farm there, or just a general farm, I guess, and a wrought iron fence business uh, for a long, for like, I think since the 90s? Yeah, since 1991. And she had this guy who lived on her property who was like a handyman. And he disappeared. And like, the police started looking into it. And like, she said he like, just up and left. But they found her using his EBT card at a Walmart on, huh? foot, on security cameras. So they like, searched the property... 
and it says officers were taken aback by the squalor, which included piles of garbage, rotting food, and industrial waste. There was a strong odor there, a lot of decay, former Jackson County Sheriff's De De Detective Julie Denny told the reporter. Uh, then investigators spotted something disturbing, a human leg in a pond. Oh my god, this is literally a Magnus Archives episode. <laughs> yeah, kinda, yeah, I, I know which one you're talking about. Uh, it appeared to be a human leg that had been severed mid-femur down to the toes. Monica claimed that one day, the previous fall, she found her pigs in a feeding frenzy. When she looked to see what it was, she saw Robert laying there with his guts all over the place. He was being eaten, what I believe to be, alive, Monica told detectives during the interview, audio of which was obtained by the publication. She said she couldn't stop the pig, so she got her gun and shot him. I put him out of his misery. I do that for my animals, and that was the first time I did it for a human being. And I knew it was wrong, but if it were one of my pigs suffering out there, I would have done the same thing. Monica left Robert's body in the pig pen until the hogs had their fill. After a couple of days, she scooped up his remains and put them in garbage bags. A wild animal later got into one of the bags and dragged the foot out to the pond, she claimed. Monica said she didn't tell the authorities about the incident because she was afraid they would kill her pigs. When asked what else investigators might find on her property, she broke down and told them they would find worse. Monica drew a map of her property and in the middle put an X. She said, right there, that's where you're going to find Steve. <laughs> Who has not been mentioned in this article yet. Uh, Steve was Stephen Delicino, a handyman who worked on Monica's property a year before Robert got there. She said, in summer of 2012, two of her guns went missing. She found them in Delicino's belongings and confronted him. They got in some sort of wrestling match, she alleged, and the gun <laughs> went off, shooting Delicino in the back of the head. Rather than killing him, Delicino stood up and chased Monica toward her barn where she picked up her rifle. She shot him in the head. She fed Delicino's bodies to the pigs and later buried whatever was left. Before the interview was over, Henderson asked Monica if there were any other dead bodies on her property. <laughs> okay, lady. <laughs> she had a truly chilling response. She told me that if she told me about the 17 others, that she would spend the rest of her life in jail. Um... <laughs> Her pigs were subsequently euthanized because they had the taste of blood already. Over the following weeks, dozens of crime scene investigators searched Monica's property, digging over 100 holes. They found the remains of Haney, Delicino and numerous personal belongings, including a large pile of shoes, but no other bodies. Did you start reading a new manga? 
Uh, I was reading uh, Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service. What? I mean, you finished that though, right? Yeah, but I haven't picked anything new. Oh, okay, I thought you were trying to pick something new the other night. What is that manga about? What is it, Kurosawa? Kurosagi. Kurosagi. Corpse Delivery Service. Which apparently means Black Heron. Kurosagi means Black Heron? Yeah, like the bird. Okay. What is it about? Um, it's about these, like, I guess they're, like, recently graduated college students, but it's specifically a Buddhist college. Uh -huh. So, like, they're all, I guess, uh, not born into families that are going to, like, inherit temples or anything. So, like, they all just sort of form this, uh company business because one of them can speak to the dead mm -hmm. like one can speak to the dead one douses but they don't find water they find dead bodies with their pendulum okay uh one is a channeler but he talks to aliens mm -hmm. <laughs> like he has a sock puppet that is an alien like an extraterrestrial yeah and then the other, there's, uh, another character who's just, uh, an embalmer. Like, she went to America and got certified to embalm people. And then there's the lady who runs it who's just a hacker. I don't know that she has any supernatural or corpse-related abilities. But, like, they use the one dude to talk to corpses and then they figure out what the corpse's unfinished business was like why it's spirits hanging around is it like horror yeah it's horror i need to start making a list for more manga articles for m3 i really like it i think you'd like it too i might I'm probably going to read that second. I think I might start Tomy later. But I might do that one after Tomy. I might try Freak Island again. Oh, I got to read... What's that one? Uh, Pumpkin Night. Oh, yeah, Pumpkin Night. I got to read Pumpkin I read Night. a good bit of it, but I got to wherever it had fi like last been translated. Yeah. I feel like Chainsaw Man is going to get an anime. Yeah, a lot of people really liked it, and like it's one I've been seeing for a yeah. while. Like, so, shit. so I guess there should be my first four is uh, Tomi, Kurosagi Delivery Service, Corpse Delivery Service, Pumpkin Knight, and Chainsaw Man. I was just looking at this list on Bloody Disgusting because it's uh, 13 horror books for 2021. Mm -hmm. And... Um, there's a, a Junji Ito book coming out. Um, I've, got, I've had it pre-ordered since last year. Why did I do that? I gotta get in there. But it's called Love Sickness. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, another, like, Junji Ito, like a new Junji Ito anthology. It's like ten stories. Yeah. I'm sure it's out in Japan, but I'm stoked about that. You also need to read Killing Morph. Killing Morph isn't particularly good, but it's just sort of like, what? <laughs> so I enjoyed yeah. it. It's gory, too. Like, I just, I love to read gory horror manga. Oh, yeah, I totally, <laughs> totally agree. Yeah, this looks kind of dope. I'm gonna make a list. Mm, An agent. I read agent. I, didn't know I you read really agent. liked agent. How much of agent did you read? All that was translated. I didn't know you read agent. Oh, I loved it. Agent's massively popular. Like I, I read agent and I didn't realize there was a fucking Walter Dornez shaped hole in my heart. <laughs> ah. <laughs> fucking. Let me get to Google Keep so I can start making a list. I really need to read, and I just haven't been. I know, like I also, also our our totally legal manga source um, is down right now. It's gone. It's not gone, but it's down. Shit. Yeah, like they're restructuring, I think, but they don't have a time frame yet. 
Like they're, I think, I don't know, I, I'm assuming something happened, but like they're having to migrate all their data, I believe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not operational right now. This is not correct. That is also not correct. You son of a bitch. How many articles did I do for the first round of those, that series? Uh. Let me go look. Did you ever do, uh. No, you didn't do Fuan Notane, you did Koei Show Radio, didn't you? No, I did Fuan Notane too. Oh, okay. Which, we'll again, we, we haven't read all of that. Like, there are several chapters of that that we didn't have access to that you could buy, I think, but we never did. Yeah. I guess I only did six. I thought I did more than that. Oh, yeah, you did that hideout one that I meant to read and yeah. I haven't yet. I did God's Left Hand, Devil's Right Hand, which was absolutely <laughs> fucking amazing. Fucking sick. <laughs> so fucking cool. Hideout, which is very short, but very, very nicely uh, illustrated. Um, Fuan Natane, which is like my favorite ever. Uh, Happy Sugar Life, which was an unexpected... Uh, Not favorite, I guess, but like I really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, Beyond the Bad Dream, which is an anthology by a lady whose name is escaping me. Oh, there's one that I sh meant to tell you to read. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. Go on. Um, and then PTSD Radio, yeah. like you said, which is by the same guy as Fuan Notane. Kurosagi is K-U-R-O-S-A-G-I. Yeah. Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. Uh, what did I say? I'm going to do Tomei. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do uh, Pumpkin Knight. Chainsaw Man. Uh, Killing Morph. Yeah. Like, Agent is more, I guess, seinen rather than horror solely. But, but it it's got a lot horror. of horror. Yeah. In, yeah, like it has uh, an element of story that I always fucking love, which is unkillable immortal made to suffer physically. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I'll try to do that to you. Um... That's, let's see, one, two, three. That's six. I would really like to do 12 articles. 12 more or 12 altogether? 12 more. Because there was one I read that what it made, it was horror, I guess, but it wasn't necessarily gory. It just had really wild visuals. Let me see if I can find it real quick because it's going to bother me if I can't remember. Like, I wish I could at least get to yeah. all, the, all the manga that I had saved at that site, but I can't. I know I reblogged some of the art from the one I'm talking about on Tumblr. It's just I have like 10,000 posts on this blog, so...
Oh, that's Blame. I do need to read Blame. I'm gonna put that Here on the is. list. That was on my list to do last time. But Bibliomania. I that. Sounds... I mean, yeah, that name automatically. I know you're gonna be interested, but here's some of the art. Oh my God. Okay, that's on the list. I'm also gonna add the Princess of the Neverending Castle because that's that Shintaro Kago book yeah. that I have uh, pre-ordered, or not even pre-ordered. I think it's out. Okay, um, shit. Let me stand back and look at this. No, that's not the direction I'm telling you. anything yeah I have a few fossils I'm gonna go get those assessed and then sell them and I should get enough money to move meringue's house for that oh shit the museum's not there anymore There's a bunch of really nice looking books on this list from Bloody Disgusting. Mm -hmm. I really want to check some of them out. Like there's um, this Japanese horror novel that's coming out at the end of the year. Uh, it's called Nothing But Blackened Teeth. And like, just based on the cover, oh yeah, I'm kind of like wanting to read it. Also, there's a new Stephen Graham Jones novel called My Heart is a Chainsaw, which is a really fucking cool title. Um, but he's... Um, I, I've never read a lot of his stuff. I think I've read some of his short stories, but he is, I believe, kind of part of the earlier Bizarro crowd. Oh. 
But I, I think his novels are less that now. Did you read this Mega Kichikojima? Yeah, that's Freak Island, I think. Okay, that's the same writer as Pumpkin Knight. Oh, really? The yeah. art's totally different, so I guess I... Because a lot of the time it's the same writer and artist, you know? It's it's the same, yeah. It's just one mangaka. Okay. I don't know. Well, hang on. So you got a summary anywhere? No. I'm pretty sure that's Freak Island, because I feel like... Yeah, it says it, so right here. Oh, okay. Like, I, I feel like for a while you couldn't find it unless you searched by that name, and now I think it is more commonly available the other way. What the fuck am I doing? Patty. I have to see Patty. I read that one uh, fairy tale or one that I told you to read. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, I, it's another one that I have saved on that site. What that the fuck am I doing? I gotta talk to Tom Nook, stupid ass. Don't have access to right now. Oh, now I really want to read manga. I always want to. What are you doing now? You moving a house? Yeah, I've, and I'm gonna time travel. I think just to get the house moved. Yeah. What if the villagers just said no? <laughs> the villagers said, "Fuck you." Maybe if I keep time traveling, I'll get to a night where Celeste will show up. Yeah. There's gonna be an Emperor live stream. 
like the black metal band Emperor. Mm. And uh, I guess they're doing a bunch of old stuff. Like, I think they're celebrating. Let me see if I can find the listing. Yeah, it's a 30th anniversary live stream event. So it's like 30 years since they formed. It's been 30 years since we formed. That's also true. When Celeste does show up, she normally shows up over here. So I'm going to check over here real quick. Check the whole island real quick. Then fast, or yeah, fast forward to tomorrow. Run into this tree for a couple of minutes. Like, uh, but they're gonna like play stuff from like way back in the day, so they're gonna have uh, Mortis play with them a little bit because mm. he was their original bass player for yeah. like their first first demo before they fired him. <laughs> but they're also gonna have uh, Faust come back and drum, and Faust is kind of. Um, unsavory mm. <laughs> like he was in prison for a long time uh for murder oh She's not here, so I'm going to save and then uh, time travel. <laughs> oh, was that a letter from Dom? This one? Okay. I thought it said Doom. Mm hmm. 
when Kelsey was telling me about these movies the other day mm-hmm. called the uh, the Gamma One quad- Quadrilogy. So it's like four films produced in um, the 60s, I think. Fuck, let me confirm that. Hang on. Yeah, in the 60s. So it's um, Antonio Margaretti. Antonio Mar- <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and He got like, you know, like a budget to make some movies. So he... Made... Like he got, you know... A set of actors and built some sets and stuff and made four sci-fi movies back to back with the same sets and same actors uh, in four months like four feature length films mm-hmm. and they're they're not they're like vaguely related to each other, but they're not a series. Yeah. It's just they share they share some characters and they share some locations, and obviously like the aesthetics are very similar because they use the same sets, and I think they use like a, the same like like I think there's a, like a, a named space station that ties some of them together. I just think that's really fucking interesting. Like I love like continuity stuff like that. Like, it just feels like comic book continuity yeah. and shit. I think that's pretty cool. listen to shit about cryptids and folklore mainly. What? I said I just learned shit about cryptids and folklore. That's what did about you, what all did I you do. Learn? Well I haven't learned much new other than what I was telling you about the other day, the witch diggers of Indiana. Do you remember that? Yeah I do. <laughs> I thought that I thought that was really cool and I wish that was a band called Witch Diggers. Witch Diggers and Coffin Cutters really underutilized there. Both very good names. What is a Coffin Cutter? A, a Coffin Cutter is a beetle that yeah, supposedly beetle. if you dig up a witch, or like if you dig up a person and they're holding that beetle in their hand, they're a witch. That's oddly specific. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> It's the same as, you know, oh, their corpse looks bloated because they've drank blood. Like, nah, dog. <laughs> they, they're they bloated because they're full of gas. Well, yeah, they're decomposing. But, but, oh, there's bugs in their hands because they're being eaten by bugs. It's 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 Riku. They put bugs in Yes. <laughs> Jacob wanted, had an idea to start uh, a... Uh, A news blog about cryptids, like fake cryptids. Mm-hmm. You just write fake articles about cryptid sightings. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like, Ooh. you know, I guess it's sort of like Monster of the Week SCP kind of stuff. Yeah. But, you know, with a different flavor format than, than SCPs, and certainly I think more in tune with folklore and cryptids rather than like that Nightmare X kind of stuff that SCPs came yeah. out of. I can kind of get into that. I couldn't figure out what Serrano was doing for a second there. Oh, fuck. I should go up there and look and see if Celeste is here. 
What's an innocuous name for a cryptid haunting site or cryptid sighting site? Because you would want it to be something. Like, it would have to be, like, a name that it's like, you know, this is a cryptid site. Mm -hmm. But something that's still, like, vaguely... You know, not too dramatic. Yeah. This motherfucking bird. Who, Celeste? Yes. Like, it's kind of cloudy right now, but I mean, I feel like she's been on my island when it started off cloudy, and then it, like, cleared up later in the night. Why? Why Celeste never come to my town? I really want the recipe for just the fucking moon. I still don't have it. Oh, that like big realistic moon you can mm -hmm. place? Yeah, I really wish you had that. Spy is going to have an exclusive Steelbook edition of the new Saw 4K Ultra HD release. Oh boy. Man, you still haven't seen the trailer for Spiral, have you? Mm-mm. I gotta show you that. Why did I walk out? I don't ever have any idea what the fuck I'm doing in this game. Oh, 
This is a video of a guy, a kickboxer, doing, like, Tekken combos. Oh, hell yeah. This is upsetting. <laughs> Serrano sent me a statue. Oh, it's the fake Rosetta Stone. Oh. It's blue. I'm pretty sure it's fake. I'll take it to get it evaluated, but... <laughs> Bye. 
Do we not have that? Oh, okay. Red is another character I feel like is barely ever in town. Yeah, he comes very rarely. And he almost never has statues when he's here. Like, only recently. Oh, <laughs> look at CJ. <laughs> <laughs> is he stuck? I guess so. It's fine. I never fucking talk to him when he's in town. I hate having to do that shit before you can even sell him anything. Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't have any idea what she's singing. Oh, just got a fishing pole wandering around looking for a fucking pond. There isn't one anymore.
Okay, so that should get both of the shops out of the way. You okay? Mm -hmm. I gotta clean my fucking mailbox out again. Cause you're time traveling. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very close to 300. And I delete pretty much everything that isn't from a villager. Yeah. shops out of the way. <laughs> like the sky is completely clear. Yeah.
just build up the ground over here first. I'm going to have to move all those villagers. Say that again. I should probably build up the cliffs over here because I'm going to have to move all the villagers from the other side of the river over here. Ah. Uh. Good. What happened? I got a squat toilet from the fucking balloon I stopped to pop. I realized, by the way, if you have, like, like, you know how if you have a space in the middle of a lake, you can, like, or river, you can jump across it. Mm -hmm. You can also do that on the cliffs, as long as it's the same height. I didn't realize you could jump over water from a cliff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be a cliff. Or, I mean, it has to be water. No, like... Like can you? Like if I go up there, like that that gap right there, can you jump over that? Yeah, I can jump over that. But I thought if there was water down here, you couldn't. But apparently, you can. Oh, I see what you're saying.
So how many blocks does a bridge span? Um, Three? It, uh, it depends because you can make them slightly bigger, slightly smaller. Oh, I Three by that. four to five by four. Oh, okay. 